Anger has only intensified in Mexico in recent weeks due to the government's failure to release information about the case. 40 days have now gone by since the 43 students were kidnapped. Most believe the police carried out the operation in coordination with gang members. With the latest, here's our correspondent Clayton Kahn. In 40 days, these youth have shut down the country's public universities. They say as each day passes without the 43 Ayotzinapa students, their indignation grows, along with distrust towards the state. Lo que vemos ahora y nos, nos preocupa bastante es que a pesar de toda... What we see now and what worries us is that even with all the pressure, and not just national but international, the Mexican state still continues to strangle us along and continues to maintain secret what they already know. The 72-hour strike is being organized by students from more than 110 educational institutions throughout Mexico. This display of social commitment and activism has arguably not been seen since the country's student movement of 1968. Inside the political science department, we understand that we have a certain degree of responsibility, not just academic, but political as well. Thus, we believe it is important that the public universities have joined in the mobilizations. As the youth also lay a symbolic siege around the attorney general's office, supporters echo the distrust of the authorities, claiming that controlling political damage takes priority over finding justice in Ayotzinapa. I believe they are administering the conflict, waiting for the mobilization to calm down, and then afterwards they will announce the truth. I believe that they know what happened to our friends, but the 43 disappeared. The Ayutzinapa case strikes deep at a reality for many of Mexico's youth, that they are often the victims and targets of state-condoned or sponsored violence. Clayton Khan, Telesur, Mexico City. And thanks to Clayton. We